everyone, it's Tim with Collect Jurassic, and we're back with another video feature, this time going over the all new Dino Rivals figures that have just started to show up in stores, like the Dual Attack, the Savage Strike, and the new Walmart exclusive Albertosaurus. We'll also be going over the Dino Rivals line as a whole, some of the figures that have already been out there, we might have covered them on the site and photo features, but in this video we'll be going over everything. So what I'm going to do here is take out these dinosaurs out of their packages and we'll go over each figure one by one and get a closer look. All right, here we are. Pretty much the entire Dino Rivals figure line as far as new sculpts and new paints go. We're not counting the new Savage Strike Blue or the new Savage Strike Steggy Morlock because they are basically straight reissues. Um, but everything here is sort of an original figure for this line. We also don't quite have our hands on the ATV set yet, the story pack. Um, that would be another repaint of the Dracorex. Um, but we're going to go ahead and just go over what we have here, particularly the main new dinosaurs. So I'll start out with the excellent Savage Strike Styracosaurus, Monolophosaurus here. Um, great figures. Uh, I love the new Styracosaurus. Uh, I thought it was a little small when I first saw it, um, but I guess this is how big they actually were, someone told me. They're not huge uh, like a Triceratops. They are a little bit smaller. But yeah, great figure. Awesome paint. I love like the little splotch on the back. Um, just the head sculpt alone is just so cool. I mean, tons of detail there. Um, of course, the Monolophosaurus was one I had received in the Mattel press kit in the uh, previous video that I did. Um, but it's awesome to actually open one now and take a look. I just love the coloring very much like, again, a tiger. It's, these are just awesome figures for the price. Um, yeah, Savage Strike, looking good. So let's take a look next at the Dual Attacks. Now the Dual Attacks are, I think, one of the most anticipated figures, mainly for this guy right here, the Parasaurolophus. Um, you know, we don't get a ton of herbivores in our dinosaur lines here. Um, so when we do, it's pretty exciting. <clears throat> and this Parasaurol office totally delivers. Uh, you know, it's got the great classic paint scheme, just like the Site B Parasaurol office from Lost World. Um, awesome action features here. We have the, the tail swipe and the head bump. Looks really cool. Great dynamic pose, but also not so static that you don't feel like you can, you know, pose it in other ways and that look kind of forced like a Hasbro figure. It's got this great kind of up on one foot neutral pose, but you can, you know, pose it up and make it look like it's trumpeting or whatever. It's just an awesome figure. Um, this is probably one that would be a great herd builder too. I know a lot of people collect Gallimimus in great quantity. It would be cool to get a few of these guys too and kind of make out your herd. Um, but yeah, this is definitely, to me, the star of the dual attack line. Just totally, totally cool retro kind of paint scheme. Really nice. Next we have the Concavenator, which I hope I'm saying that right. Interesting figure. I mean, for me, the head is, I mean, you can kind of see in the video here. I don't know. It looks cool. I really like the detail on the feet and the arms. It's got like scales, almost kind of snake-like, very reptilian. Um, but yeah, something about the face for me just feels a little, I don't know what the word for it is. It just doesn't feel very like agile. He kind of looks happy or something. But still an awesome paint scheme on him. The jet black, the red, very cool. And again, I like the scaling on the feet and the arms. I think that's a nice little touch of detail. And then we'll go over the Triceratops here, which is another one I received in the Mattel press kit. Um, but again, getting it out of the box for the first time here today. Uh, now that I have it out of the box, it doesn't seem like it's that much bigger than the previous Triceratops sculpt, but I love this new paint color. It's a little more muted, but it feels just a little bit less exotic than the other one with its kind of two tones. This one is very subtle and I just, it, it feels more like a Jurassic Triceratops to me because it isn't so kind of, you know, exotic, I guess. Um, but yeah, the dual attack actions, just like the other figures, awesome, solid, large figure. Again, these are $15 and um, I mean, I think it's worth every penny, great value for those. All right, next we're gonna go over the very exciting Battle Damage, Walmart exclusive, Albertosaurus. A lot of people are super excited about this one, and rightly so. It's got this awesome Battle Damage feature, which will show. Um, you press it open, you can see the rib cage in there. I think when we all saw photos of it, we thought it ended there, but it doesn't. You press the skeleton, 
the bones open up and there's squishy soft organs inside just a really really cool idea um you know as a collector that's cool but as a kid i mean as a kid i would have loved that i was already obsessed with the dino damage on the kenner figures and it was just one dimensional soft and painted and everything but this is just a whole other level of kind of cool gore for kids to play with so that's probably the coolest thing about this figure but again the sculpt just like with a lot of these figures is just incredible the face looks so cool it looks like a prehistoric painting by you know a, a very talented artist whoever sculpted this did an incredible job i know we see a lot of really nice sculpts on the figures featured in the movie and this one would be something more original and i think they did an excellent job we have a jaw that opens up mine was kind of hard to open and close on my figure but cool tongue painted tongue in there and yeah i mean just an awesome paint job a little bit of battle damage on his leg there um but very very cool very realistic looking figure at least as realistic as we can guess for a dinosaur doesn't really have some of the cartoony style that some figures kind of are on the edge of this feels very natural very realistic it looks like you could pretty much be in a museum that's just how awesome this detail is on this figure and how awesome the sculpt is i love all this the sculpt sculpted ridges on the back it's just it's really cool i mean albertosaurus is you know not the most dynamic looking carnivore like the concavenator or something like that um but i think what they did with this figure uh as far as the details go really makes it you know feel really special and going to make it a very sought after figure for the collectors so that's all the new figures that we just picked up today but i do want to take a second and just kind of go over the entire dino rivals line again minus that draco rex story pack but this is pretty much everything else that's out there right now we've went over the dual or the uh sorry bite and fight t-rex before this thing is awesome again uh this one is one of the best painted Rexes I think Mattel's put out. It really looks like it's got, you know, something a little bit more true to the movie, especially in the first movie that this paint scheme seems really inspired by that. And it's got the great action feature too. One thing that someone pointed out that I was not aware of is that there's actually articulation on this head here that you can pose so he can kind of move a little bit differently, which I was not aware. Um, so you can do some really cool poses if you, you know, take the time to kind of prearrange that head articulation. Nice little detail there. Um, covered the um, Mega Duel attacks in a previous photo feature on CollectorIsaac.com, but I'll go over them real quick again here. We have the Sutra Mimus, which is a repaint, retool with its two action features. Mine um, actually has really loose legs. I don't know if they're all like that, but he has a pretty hard time standing up. Um, the other Sutra Mimus figure that's previously been released didn't have that problem. So I don't know if it's just this figure or just mine, but uh, that aside, cool paint scheme. I think a lot of people prefer the first releases paint scheme. It's just a little more memorable but this is very cool too i love the yellow um the stegosaur one of the figures i went over in the press kit overview uh, a paint scheme that a lot of people aren't really happy with but i think it's awesome similar to the albertosaurus it just feels very natural very real like something you'd see in a again a, like a painting um like a professional paleontology painting it just feels very real world um rounding that out for the regular line we have the um attack pack figures which i won't go over too much into detail i think everyone's seen these seen these on the shelves we got the raptor repaint of delta we have the uh what am i missing here oh protoceratops repaint love this guy very cool exotic repaint um the other one was certainly a little more vibrant too but this is a great accessory to that Next, we have the Ramphoricus. Hope I'm saying that right. Um, a cool new pterodactyl sculpt with the sharp pointy teeth. Uh, you know, this one feels a little bit like a, almost like a Ghostbuster monster to me. A little more of that cartoony vibe, but still cool to have a new pterodactyl in the line. Um, and then the Dracorex, which comes in this paint color and the other paint color that comes along with the Story Pack ATV. Um, original sculpt very very cool i love this one i love the neck posability too that kind of lets you push the neck down and kind of get them in ramming pose great figures i think they're eight bucks 
uh, again, an incredible deal. I think all these figures have a great price point value when you look at the detail that's in them and the, the coloring and everything. Last figure I want to talk about today, which we just featured on the site, is the new Legacy Rex pack with the um, infant T-Rex or baby T-Rex and the repainted Extreme Chompin' Rex. These really cool shades of green. This is probably the coolest Rex sculpt. If they could just combine this paint scheme with this sculpt with all its posability, um, I think that would be like the dream Rex figure for a lot of us. But this is a great, great one. This is the unofficial bull T-Rex. And I think they did a great job with this paint scheme. It's pretty limited, um, only a couple shades of green, but again, they work with what they had and I think it looks great. Baby Rex here, not much to say about this figure. Pretty much has the exact same pattern as the uh, individual release. It's just different colors, um, same exact figure, you know. I think the detail looks just like the Rex from the movie, um, but yeah, the paint scheme is still just a little bit too simple, maybe a little bit too wild to really feel like it's the Rex from the movie, but great little pack there. Um, jumps off the shelf, probably for the kids who it's meant for, so I get why they made the colors the way they did for that baby Rex. So that's pretty much all the Dino Rivals figures that you can get your hands on right now, minus that story pack. Um, but yeah, Mattel did an excellent job with all these. No complaints from me. It's the first wave of this new series. There's going to be more this year, but already we have all these new species, all these new paint jobs on these existing figures that really stand out differently from last year. And again, overall, incredible value. Hopefully everyone will have no problem hunting these down. Um, you know, as the next couple of weeks go by, I'm sure they'll be being restocked more and more. And obviously throughout the year, these are the new Jurassic World toys that'll be on shelves. But that's all we have for today. Until the next video feature, I'm Tim with Collect Jurassic. Happy hunting, everybody.